Hey guys, before we jump into the tutorial, I just wanted to make a note that I originally filmed this as part of a vlog and I just realized that it could be its own tutorial video altogether. So um, that's what this is. So if I mention it all during the vlog, uh, during the video that it is a vlog, that's why. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you learned something from this tutorial and thank you for watching. Hello, welcome back to the studio vlog. My camera's still broken, so we're filming on the phone again, but I thought I would just show you part of this dress that I'm doing at the moment. So this is a new design I'm doing for the first collection of 2019, and I'm putting some pockets on the front of this dress. So it's kind of like a pinafore dress, and I wanted to do um, kind of like regular square pockets, except with uh, the rounded corners. And um, it looks straightforward enough, but with the rounded corners, there's just a few extra techniques that you can use to get them looking really good. And I'm going to show you that now. So to start off, I've made my pocket pattern. I just used measurements that I've used in the past and then the fact that this is big enough to fit your hand in and a phone. That's a pretty ideal size for pockets like this. Now this piece here is actually the pocket um, template. So this isn't what you'll cut out of your fabric. This is actually what you'll use when you are pressing the fabric that you cut out um, into the pocket. So this is the actual pattern piece that I would cut out of my fabric. Um, it's got enough extension at the top to roll over twice and then be sewn down so that's nice and neat on the inside and the outside. And then it has a one centimeter seam allowance around the outside. Um, so for these corners what i'm going to do is actually sew in a little bit of a gathering stitch so that when i turn the fabric over my template i get those rounded corners all right so i'm going to show you that now so this is my fabric that i'm going to be cutting out and i'm going to cut two pockets out and i want the pockets to go this way so that the stripe goes the same way as the dress so I don't think there's enough space for me to fold it over this way, but I'm going to fold the fabric um, the other way so that I can cut two out at the same time. pattern cut out so what I'm gonna do first is fold over uh, the top part of the pocket here twice so it's like that and then I'm going to press this and stitch along here with the sewing machine on both pockets and then I'll show you the next step all right, I have sewn down the tops of these pockets and pressed them. And I'm just gonna trim the threads from where I sewed the top down. And that's what they look like on the back. So on the inside of the pocket, there won't be fraying and I didn't have to overlock it or anything because it's all wrapped up inside. So now I'm going to set my machine to do a really long stitch and I'm going to sew uh, right along about five mil in from the edge here. Five to seven mils as long as it's inside the line where you're gonna be stitching. I think five mils is best because it's better if you can get as close to this edge as possible so that when we gather it, we've got some overlap that'll come over here and it'll all pull in like this. Cause that's basically what we're gonna be doing. So I'm going to do that now. I might just, um, do a back stitch on one side and then just pull it all through from the other end. So no back stitching uh, when you get to the other side. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera now so you can see the sewing machine and I'll do that. So 
so that's one pocket done. I'm just gonna show you this one because I'm only gonna be doing the exact same thing on the other pocket anyway. But let's move on to what we're gonna do now that we've got our gathering stitch in the corners. Okay, so this is the part where we're gonna need the pocket template. So if you have a pattern for a pocket that's like this, just like a stitch on pocket, um, you might be given this piece in your pattern, but if not, it's really easy to just make one yourself. It's good if you can make it out of something a bit thicker like cardstock because you're going to be folding your fabric around it and possibly even ironing on it. Um, so if this is your pocket pattern, the pocket template should fit in exactly the size the pocket will be after all the edges are folded over and sewn down. So when this is on my dress, this is the exact size the pocket's going to be, except it will have a a stitch around the outside so it'll just be slightly smaller fit when you put your hand in but this shape is what you will see on the front of the dress okay so if you want to make a pocket template out of your pattern piece just take the measurements of what's inside here basically without the seam allowance and then you end up with this so basically we're going to take our pocket that has the corners stitched in going to turn it right side down Put the pocket template over the top and line it up with the top because we've already folded down that part of the pocket so that should match up. Now I might even just pin this to the pocket now. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go to the iron eventually and fold these sides in. But when it gets to these corners, obviously there's like all this extra fabric here because they're round. So instead, what we'll do down here, if I just stick another pin in, I'm going to use this thread to gather up that corner. Just take one side and we've back tacked along here. So if I pull this thread, it's not gonna unravel. All right, see that? That's what we want makes it so much easier to press because now that's all being held there on its own. I'll just go ahead and do the other corner. Isn't that so pleasing to watch? All right, and now all I have to do is go to the iron and press this down and press these sides down as well. make sure of now is when you're sewing this to the garment just make sure that these top little corners hide down under sometimes they can poke up a little bit like that just um, try and tuck them in so it's really nice and neat and basically that is what my pockets gonna look like on the dress we've got those perfect round corners that are all going to match because they're all going to copy this exact template All right, so I've gone ahead and put this dress on the mannequin and this is what it looks like at the top. So it's kind of like a, an apron pinafore dress, I guess. Oh, and it looks like one of my pins fell out. I had a pin here and a pin here for where I think the tops of the pockets should go. So I'm able to line up the top, but I just need to make sure that the placement is centered. So I'm just going to in one of my pockets down and I'm going to find my side seam and basically fold the whole dress in half and line it up with the other side. Once I've figured out where I want these pockets to be on the dress I'll actually mark it on the pattern so that next time I make it um, it's really straightforward. I can just mark it on my fabric and straight away I'll know where to put it. So basically now I've got this folded in half. I don't know if you can see that but that's the top. So that's in half there. This all matches up. I'm going to flip this over so you can see where I've already pinned down the first pocket. Now let me show you a tool that we use it's got a few different names that I've heard before, but this is called a stiletto or an awl. And it's basically just a sharp pointy tool that you use to make holes in your fabric. You've probably 
used this to make darts before when you mark the end of a dart. Um, it's a way to mark the center of a piece of fabric rather than notching like you would around the edge. You can just put a little hole through it. In most fabrics it's non-destructive because you can kind of rub the fibers back together and fill the hole back in but you do need to be careful if you're using this on like satins and things like that where you might actually snag a thread. Um, but for what we're doing today we will mark about five to seven million I think from each corner of the top of our pockets. So once all this is matching up I'm just going to pin these sides together too. So I'm going to go right here. I'm actually going to go through all the layers and just fill back in the fabric where I've made a mistake. So I mean like because obviously I'm not putting pockets on the front and the back I'm only putting them on the front but like I said I should be able to cover up these holes later so you can see that it's gone through all the layers and now I know where to match up my pocket on the other side except I've just got to do the other side first this corner and like I said this is my sample so when I got where I'm putting the pockets on my pattern I won't have to do this every time I will just do it when I'm cutting the fabric. Okay, so there's my other hole. Now I can open this up. I don't know if you can see this very well, but I can see this is one hole and this is the other one. So that is where I would be putting my pockets. So basically you're just lining up the tops and once the tops are in place, that should mean the rest is square. And I've got my other pocket here and I'm just going to go five mils outside of each drill hole. That's another thing that you can call this thing is a drill. Um, but those holes that we make, I think they're usually referred to as drill holes. So yeah, you'd make them for anything that you need to mark in the center of the fabric as long as it's not going to ruin your fabric. And I can pin this one down here too. I'm just going to have to get my hand on the inside of the dress though so I'm not going through the front and the back, just the front. And I'll pin the bottoms down too just so they're all straight and then I will stitch these down just using an edge stitch about two mils in from the edge of the pocket all the way around. Okay, so I will show you that on the sewing machine now. All right, so there's my first pocket sewn down and I'll show you what it's like when I've done the two and I might pop it on the mannequin so you can see. All right, it's kind of dark in my house at the moment, but this is what the pockets look like now that they're sewn on. I think they look really cute. They're nice and deep. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like belted too because this dress looks really cute with a belt on it. And then you can see how the pockets kind of get gathered up under the belt too. All right, this is how it looks with the belt as well. So yeah, it's a, like a pinafore dress. Ah, I just stabbed myself. Um, oh, I know why, because I haven't put the shoulders. I'm going to show you the back. I've just pegged this because my belt doesn't go tight enough around the waist. But that's what it looks like and I think it's really cute and I just need to hem it and it's pretty much done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a bit of a longer tutorial, a bit more laid back. I did initially, as I mentioned, film it as part of a vlog. So it's a bit more casual, but I still hope you learned something and please leave me any comments about anything else you want to learn about. I'd love to be able to help you out there and I'll see you in the next one.